Question number 171. Which of the following is used in the production of insulin by genetic engineering? And the options are rhizobium, entamoeba coli, saccharomyces and Escherichia coli. And the correct answer to this question is option number 4. E. coli or Escherichia coli is used in the production of insulin by genetic engineering. Human insulin gene or humulin is spliced into a plasmid and E. coli bacteria is then transformed with that plasmid in order to produce insulin by genetic engineering. Now let's discuss rest of the options. The very first option is rhizobium and this is an incorrect option because rhizobium is a nitrogen fixing bacteria. The next option is saccharomyces and this is an incorrect option. Saccharomyces is a fungi or yeast used in fermentation. And the next option is Entamoeba coli and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because Entamoeba coli is amoebic dysentery causing protozoan pathogen. So very first option Rhizobium is a nitrogen fixing bacteria. Fungi or yeast used in fermentation. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 172. First genetically modified plant with antibiotic resistant gene was and the options are canola, pomato, transgenic tobacco and the last option is Bt cotton. And the correct answer to this question is option number 3, transgenic tobacco. First genetically modified plant with antibiotic resistance gene was tobacco plant produced in 1982. Let's discuss rest of the options. The very first option is canola and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because canola is an oil seed crop cultivated for its high quality edible oil used in many food. So, canola is an oil seed crop. The next option is pomato and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because pomato is a grafted plant produced by grafting together tomato and potato plant. And the last option is Bt cotton and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because Bt cotton produces an insecticide to combat ballworm. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 3. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 173. Vector used for introducing a DNA fragment corresponding to adenosine deaminase in human lymphocytes is and the options are retrovirus, TI plasmid, rheovirus, PUC8. And we know that vector used for introducing a DNA fragment corresponding to adenosine deaminase in human lymphocyte is a retrovirus. So, the correct answer to this question is option number one, retrovirus, which is commonly used to transfer a DNA fragment in human lymphocytes as they have a very high division potential. The next option is Ti plasmid or Ti plasmid and this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Disarmed Ti plasmid of Agrobacterium tumefaciens is used as vector for cloning genes in dicot plants and not in human lymphocytes. The next option is rheovirus and this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Rheovirus is a double stranded RNA virus which may infect humans. And the last option is PUC8 and this cannot be a correct answer to our question. PUC8 is a plasmid cloning vector. So the correct answer to this question is option number 1. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 174. Weeds growing in Roundup Ready Soya Bean Field cannot synthesize. And the options are valine, glycine, phenylalanine and serine. And we know that Roundup in this name Roundup Ready Soya Bean is a trade name for herbicide glyphosate. that blocks the synthesis of 
aromatic amino acid such as tryptophan, tyrosine and phenyl aniline. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 3, phenyl aniline. Weeds growing in Roundup Ready Soybean field cannot synthesize phenyl aniline as glyphosate will inhibit the synthesis of these aromatic amino acids. Let's discuss rest of the options. The very first option, valine, and the second option, glycine, cannot be a correct answer because these are neutral amino acids. Whereas serine is an alcoholic amino acid. So this cannot be a correct answer to our question because the Roundup or herbicide glyphosate only inhibits the synthesis of aromatic amino acids. So the correct answer to this question is option number 3. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 175, select the correct statement. And the very first statement given is RNAi or RNA interference is a post-transcriptional gene silencing method. And as it is a correct statement, so this is a correct answer to our question. RNA interference involves silencing of specific mRNA. Now the next statement is golden rice is a drought tolerant variety developed using agrobacterium vector. And this is an incorrect statement because golden rice is a transgenic variety of rice produced to combat vitamin A deficiency. Vitamin A deficiency. The next statement given is human insulin can be produced by bacteria as genetic code is never universal and is species specific. And this is an incorrect option because genetic code is universal. The last statement is the process of separation and purification of expressed protein before marketing is called upstream processing. And this is an incorrect statement because the process of separation and purification of expressed protein before marketing is called downstream processing. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 1. Let's discuss our next question. 